Hi Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm doing a general love reading between you and your person. Aquarius, you could be thinking about this person. This person could be thinking about you at this time. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's just try to find out things that could be hiding from you with regards to your person. Things that you're not able to see, Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What are the messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What are the messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? We have the advisor. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. King of Flutes. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And then we have the Three of Rings. We have the King of Mirrors. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Four of Flutes. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have the Limo. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And then we have the Nine of Flutes. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And then we have the Two of Mirrors. And then we have the Four of Roses as your overarching energy, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, we're starting out with this advisor energy. You could be seeking advice from your friends or someone that is next to you that you, you know that has the wisdom to help you in a situation, Aquarius. Someone that you trust and you know that they could have information to help you get through what you're going through at this point, Aquarius. You could also be maybe like contemplating seeing a therapist with this advisor energy. This is the Hierophant energy. You could be trying to seek counseling with regards to like your own struggles your internal struggles as well, Aquarius. You could have thought about actually seeing a therapist as well. And you could also be like seeking advice from friends or just people that are around you that have more experience when it comes to life. With this high advisor energy is the Hierophant energy. So you could also just be like searching for information uh, online as well. Trying to just get advice with regards to a situation that you are in right now. With this King of Flutes energy, which is the single dad energy, you could be dealing with someone that has a child. Even if they don't have a child, this is someone that is very tapped into their feelings. Aquarius with this King of Flutes. This is the King of Cups energy. Someone that has a lot of love for you, Aquarius. Someone that is very tapped in emotionally, Aquarius. This could be someone that you're dealing with, Aquarius. Like, I'm also picking up that your person could also be in this King of Flutes energy when they are where they are wanting to take care of you. They're very emotionally receptive at this point. They're wanting to give emotion to this situation that they are having with you, Aquarius. And we also have this Three of Rings energy, Aquarius, which is the Three of Pentacles energy in the traditional tarot. So this energy of collaboration is here, Aquarius. You could be wanting to collaborate with other people with regards to maybe like work, or a business or whatever you're trying to do i'm also picking up the person that you're dealing with could be wanting to collaborate with you they could be wanting to partner up like a partnership with you like let's sit down and talk about how we're going to work our way around this relationship let's try to fix things i'm also picking up this energy of wanting to fix an issue that you have with like a loved one aquarius someone could be wanting to come towards you and fix an issue that they have with you aquarius with the three of rings energy 
I'm also picking up that it could be like a group of people, maybe like family members as well or friends where you could be sitting in a group setting and you having conversations about the situation, whatever you whatever that is bothering you and you are attempting to fix the problem Aquarius. Yes, there's an energy of collaboration. You could be like trying to collaborate with other people as well. The person that you're dealing with could also be wanting to come back and work on things when it comes to you. Let's just work on this relationship, Aquarius. Let's just work on it. And I also have this king of mirrors here, the intellectual. You could be dealing with someone that is a very intelligent, Aquarius. I don't know if this is the, these are the same people with this king of flutes and the king of mirrors, which is the king of cups and the king of swords. So I don't know if you're dealing with this. With, if these are the same energies, it's, these energies are coming from one person because we have water, which is cancer, is Scorpio and we have the A which is Aquarius, Gemini and Libra but there's someone that is very intelligent Aquarius this person could also have some degrees very educated master's degrees some you know some honors degrees this is someone that could also be well traveled they are very smart this could also like be a big uh, a big bookworm kind of a person this person likes to read and they have a lot of information aquarius this could also be your inform your, your energy aquarius where you're in this energy of the king of swords because you are an air sign aquarius libra gemini energy with this king of uh swords king of mirrors here where you're trying to get as much information as you can you could be studying because aquarius you are very intelligent you have this natural intelligence with you aquarius is the most intelligent sign in the zodiac so i know that you have a lot of intelligence with you you're very smart you have this natural even if you didn't go to like the traditional universities and uh, colleges and got the degrees there's just something about you that just makes you very naturally intelligent because you like to seek information you like to read you like to know things so you could be in that energy of the king of mirrors as well aquarius i'm also picking up you just could be dealing with someone that is in that energy i'm also picking up that aquarius you could be dealing with someone that is um you know very balanced they have like uh, this king of flutes energy which is like the king of uh, cups they are very emotional but they can also be very stern very in their head very logical very intelligent detached from their feelings as well the person that you're dealing with aquarius so it's like when they need to be smart they can be very smart and when they need to be loving they can be very loving as well and i'm also guessing that this person is only able to show this side of themselves to you they could be presenting at this case this king of mirrors in public just like wanting people to see them as this intelligent person only but with the people that they really trust and people that really know them they are able to be free and be loving and be very emotional as well and be receptive to energy and uh less critical with well, this king of flutes which is the king of cups energy aquarius someone that is very warm they could appear very tough and you know very strict on the outside but inside they're very they're very soft they have a lot of love for you aquarius this person that you're dealing with here aquarius this could just be your energies as well where you're just very you are very intelligent you're someone that is very intelligent you're naturally intelligent aquarius like i did say but you do have a lot of emotion inside of you you have like a lot of like emotion check other placements of your birth chart maybe you can be an aquarius with cancer placements or aquarius with scorpio placements or pisces placements that doesn't really matter but that's the energy that i'm picking up you're just someone that is very warm as well even though you are very in your head logical rational you know detached from emotions you have this tendency of tapping into that emotional being you know that, that emotional center you're very smart but you can also be very warm and very loving and i'm also picking up aquarius this energy of the limo which is the chariot cancer energy this limo energy someone that is wanting to come towards you this king of flutes energy is wanting to come towards you at this point there's someone that could be wanting to like come very fast towards you Aquarius with this limo energy this is the chariot in the traditional tarot hence I'm saying you could be dealing with the cancer here Aquarius there could be someone that is thinking about coming towards you and offering this cup of love for you like offering some emotional support as well to you Aquarius at this point and we also have this four of flutes here which is the four which is the four of um of cups aquarius so this is the energy of someone that is feeling like they missed out on an opportunity and they're also just not interested in the situation they could also be feeling bored just like not really invested in anything with this four of flutes energy but i'm going to clarify as we go and we have this uh four of nine of flutes energy the fantasy suits which is the nine of cups emotional fulfillment aquarius i'm also getting that this collaboration if you were to partner up with this person this is like your dream person aquarius this could make you very happy this is like a wish fulfillment i'm also getting that aquarius if this is a if this is a work situation where you are needing to collaborate with other people and you want to work in this group setting aquarius it's going to be very successful with this uh nine of flutes here because it's wish fulfillment like and we also have this key it's like this key 
it's going to open up a lot of doors for you aquarius if you're able to work with this uh, group of people aquarius you are going to be very successful and i'm also picking up that aquarius the person that is wanting to come towards you at this point aquarius they know that there's a lot of success if they are with you this person could be very they could be very feeling very powerful when they're around you aquarius is this there's just something about you that just gives this person a lot of hope it's like you are their wish fulfillment aquarius so the person that you're dealing with if you come into the situation where you, you start working together and you're working on the relationship and you you fix whatever problems that you might have this is like a wish fulfillment this could become a key to all of your problems to unlock all of your problems and remove each and every obstacles that of obstacle that you might have on your way aquarius so this it's really imperative aquarius that there's some teamwork that is required with regards to something at this point i'm going to clarify uh, what that is and we also have this two of mirrors energy Aquarius, which is the two of swords So this king of swords energy someone that is in this king of mirrors energy Aquarius could be contemplating very indecisive This could be your energy Aquarius where you can be like, okay, if I go B I don't know where that road is going to take me and I also have option A and I also don't know where that road is going to take me So I'm very confused in this. Uh, it's like a mental struggle It's like this energy of like a mental struggle where you you don't know which decision to make Aquarius I'm also getting that someone like that you're dealing with, someone that is in this King of Mirrors energy, which is the King of Swords, could be struggling to make a decision with regards to something. But this is like a wish fulfillment, Aquarius, between you and this person. We also have this Four of Roses here, the Mansion, Aquarius, which is the Four of Wands energy. And you know, the Four of Wands energy is about celebration, Aquarius. It's about celebration, like also a wedding marriage i'm also picking up like wish fulfillment energy like celebration aquarius there could also be like a, a wedding in the near future aquarius there could be someone that is wanting to celebrate with you plan a wedding with you there could be someone that doesn't know what, what to decide in terms of like whether they want to go ahead and get married and you know be in that high level of commitment or not aquarius so let's clarify this energies and find out what is happening here aquarius Tell me about that advisor for Aquarius. Tell me about that advisor for Aquarius. Don't forget to like and subscribe, Aquarius. It's completely free for you to like and subscribe. Just like hit the like and subscribe button, Aquarius. Thank you so much in advance. You are such a darling, Aquarius. So what is that advisor for Aquarius? And then we have the Queen of Wands, Aquarius. You could also be very determined to fix a situation, to fix an issue, Aquarius. I'm also picking up that um, if you're dealing with someone, because the Hierophant is also like a marriage card, like a high level of commitment kind of card. If you're dealing with someone that is like, you know, is in a marriage, Aquarius, that Queen of Wands could be speaking about the other person that they're dealing with, Aquarius. This person could be think seeking advice in terms of like, maybe like talking to lawyers as well, you know, like wanted to get out of a situation, maybe get a divorce. They're speaking to lawyers, Aquarius, with regards to this Queen of Wands energy, Aquarius. You could also just be consulting somebody that you, you admire. Like there's also someone that you see and you admire. You can admire their strength, you admire their confidence, and you're wanting to learn from that person, Aquarius. So there's something that you're trying to get, some information you're trying to get here, Aquarius. Your person could also just be trying to get information maybe from lawyers, from the justice system with regards to... A marriage how to end a marriage and all that and how not to lose everything because i'm picking up that if you're dealing with someone that could have been married with this uh single dad situation this person like could have discovered aquarius i'm also picking up this person to discover that they love you and they're wanting to leave a situation aquarius they wanted to leave a situation and it's quite possible that if they have children obviously they're going to be a single dad because they won't be married anymore so they're going to be a single parent so if that resonates with you, that will only resonate with a, with a, just like a few people that are going to watch this reading. But that, that is the message that I'm picking up right now as well, Aquarius. And we also have this magician energy, Aquarius. Somebody could be trying to manifest a brand new beginning with you, Aquarius. Someone could also be getting advice on how to leave a third party situation and, you know, get something, get up, um, manifest a new beginning with you. This magician energy is Gemini energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini what is that king of flutes for Aquarius? And then we have the two of wands, Aquarius. There is someone that is wanting to come towards you with this two of wands, Aquarius. This king of uh, flutes energy, Aquarius, could be... Like, we did get this limo energy, which is the chariot. 
there's this uh, major energy of this person wanting to come towards you at this point Aquarius this person is feeling very bold and very confident they've already decided and they have everything that they need if they were making excuses before and there was something that was like standing on their way I see that no longer being an issue Aquarius this person is coming towards you at this point Aquarius with this two of wands this person is wanting to take the steps and come towards you at this point Aquarius this king of flutes energy Tell me more about the king of flutes the two of wands is aries energy you could be dealing with the, an aries as well the king of flutes is a, a cancer pisces and scorpio so take it as it resonates tell me more about the king of flutes for aquarius and then we have the six of cups this could be someone from your past aquarius that is really missing you this could be an ex lover or maybe like a childhood friend someone that you knew from your childhood or someone that you knew since childhood this is like having nostalgia female feeling aquarius this could also just be like a past life person someone that you were with in your past lives before you got to this life here aquarius so it's like your souls really recognize each other aquarius with the six of cups energy we have our scorpio energy as well here this person could just be like missing you aquarius you know it's possible you have a relationship with someone just for like a, a month or two and it, it might seem like it's not that long and then if you're in this state of separation it feels like you've known this person forever it feels like your life stopped because you have such a connection with this person it's because you have known them like your soul recognizes this person because it has known this person before so it's very hard for you to separate for that from that energy and this person recognizes you as well with the six of cups energy this person is missing you a lot there's a lot of nostalgia memories you could have had made some memories with this person this person is missing you aquarius and they are wanting to come and heal a situation with you they're wanting to come forward aquarius because they really miss you aquarius someone is missing you aquarius what is that three of rings for Aquarius? What is that three of rings for Aquarius? And then we have this queen of pentacles and the seven of wands Aquarius. I'm also picking up that work could be a challenge at this point Aquarius with this three with the seven of wands. Something could be challenging. There could be a lot of competition at work because the three of rings is the three of pentacles. So there could be a lot of like challenges when it comes to like your work, your work situation, Aquarius. You could be working with people that are very competitive as well. It could be a challenge, Aquarius, at this point. So it's like being stable, uh, also getting to, also finding stability in your work and your finances could be a little bit of a challenge at this point, Aquarius. But I see you fighting, you're very resilient, Aquarius. You know, everything is a challenge. Everything could be a struggle. But there's gain. You're going to be, there's going to be a lot of gain at, after this, Aquarius. You are at an advantage, Aquarius. If you're in a competition with certain people, Aquarius, you are the one that has the advantage. You are the one that has the upper hand, Aquarius. So you're going to come out of whatever challenge this is in this Queen of Pentacles energy, where you'll be very, like, Aquarius, you're going to be very stable. You are very stable financially you will have your life in order aquarius so whatever challenge you must you might be facing here you have the adva advantage aquarius you see everyone is trying to attack you but you're at the top so you're gonna need to fight fight whatever this is but you're coming out of this very successful aquarius i'm picking up like a heavy work situation because i'm picking up this queen of pentacles and this three of pentacles energy with this three of rings so it's like my, something that has to do with like your, your job or work if you also have just a business aquarius there could be some competitors there but you have the upper hand aquarius you're the one you have the juice you're the one that has the that secret recipe so you have the upper hand so whatever struggle whatever competition this is aquarius you're going to come out of this victorious if it's also a situation whereby it's a three-way situation and there's like a third party aquarius you're the one that is at an advantage you are more stable than the other person aquarius than the other person your person is dealing with so there's more stability in your energy this, that's why this person is missing you because this person can see like they're very stable when they are with you aquarius you could also make them feel safe as well you're very protective and also very generous aquarius as well with your energy what is that king of mirrors for aquarius What is that king of mirrors for Aquarius? 
and then we have this two of swords in the world aquarius we did we also have another two of swords with this two of mirrors energy here someone could be struggling to make a choice between two aquarius someone could be struggling very indecisive energy at this point someone could, could also just be stalling they know exactly what to do and they've already made a decision they're just stalling they're just not saying anything at this point aquarius Someone could also be like this, whatever this is, if this people is just, if this person is just holding back, it's like they are suffering in silence. You could also be dealing with the Libra with this two of swords energy. And we also have this world energy, Aquarius. This person that you're dealing with, if this king of mirrors energy, Aquarius, if it's your partner, Aquarius, this person could be at a distance from you. At this point, Aquarius, you could have met this person online as well with this king, uh, with this world energy here. You could have met this king of mirrors uh, online. They could be at a little bit of a distance from you. I'm also picking up like Aquarius, there's going to be success. Like there's this energy of success because this world energy is like accomplishment, success, completion synthesis perfection recognition and mastery so you could be getting a lot of attention and online as well aquarius and someone could be seeing it and they're not saying anything as well they're just watching what is this four of flutes for aquarius the four of cups energy what is that four of flutes for aquarius I'm also guessing this could be, you could be dealing with two different people here, two different energies. This King of Cups and this King of Swords could be different people. Okay, yes. take it as it resonates. It could also just be one person. What is that for? Flutes for Aquarius. And then we have this uh, Six of Pentacles, Aquarius. Someone could be feeling like they missed out on an opportunity when it comes to you because they were just not giving in equally in this uh, situation, Aquarius. This person could have been very selfish with their energy as well, not wanting to give, not, not wanting to share with you, not wanting to give any energy towards you as well. This person could be feeling like they missed out on an opportunity and this person is in this energy of reflection where they're thinking about all the choices they made when they were with you, Aquarius, with this four of flutes energy here, Aquarius. I'm also picking up that uh, there's a situation of uh, someone feeling like they missed out when it, when it comes to like, you know, money someone missing out in terms of like finances as well someone also reflecting on their money i'm also picking up aquarius that someone could have like wanted to take care of you and extend a helping hand towards you and you just you were not interested aquarius you are very high high independent aquarius so i know it's very difficult for you to accept anything so there's someone that could be wanting to give you something as well and they are like they see that it's like you're not interested it's like you're not paying attention to that right now i'm also picking up someone that was just not willing to give like you were so over giving to this person aquarius you could have gave so much of your energy to this situation and this person was just acting like they are bored like they're not interested they're just focusing on other things it's like they were like ah oh, you always be there this aquarius is always going to be there let me just i'm still dealing with other things that's the energy that i'm picking up you could have been like very giving and nurturing to this person and this person was just like not interested and then we have this nine of pentacles energy aquarius aquarius this person you could be dealing with someone that is feeling like they missed out on an opportunity when it comes to you this person is seeing you looking beautiful looking very successful you could also be dealing with the big aquarius you are very accomplished Aquarius and you take care of yourself there could be a lot of self-care you could be like you know taking a lot of energy baths also for doing your facials taking yourself to the spa working on your finances enjoying your work at this point Aquarius just enjoying your own company and there's a lot of rewards Aquarius there's a lot of rewards that are coming in for you Aquarius you could have given into a situation and I'm also picking up that the universe just wants to balance out the scales you know energy given can never be wasted so if you give to a situation and someone didn't return the favor by giving you the energy back Aquarius one way or another you do get kindness from the universe because the universe needs to balance that energy out so you are going to receive kindness from the universe it's either things work out for you at your work where you start just making a lot of money you get a promotion if you have a business you just start making a lot of sales if you're in a situation where you're just over giving and someone was just like acting like they don't care and they're not interested in Aquarius and you feel like oh I just wasted my energy you could have also given to this person financially and they were just not interested 
Aquarius. This put, I'm telling you, that's how life works, Aquarius. That's how life works. That's how I feel, like that's how the world is designed. Life, it has to balance itself out. That's just the way it is. Energy needs to balance itself out. So if you are giving out energy, it's not wasted. It might not come from that person that you gave to, but it's definitely coming from other sources. What is this limo energy for Aquarius? And then we have the High Priestess Aquarius. It wanted to come out in reverse Aquarius. Someone could be like hiding, someone could have like hidden motives, there could be some secrets Aquarius, you could be dealing with someone that has some secrets Aquarius that is not wanting to be completely honest about what, it, what is happening in their life. This person is not wanting to be open about everything. They could just be giving you bits and pieces of what is happening, but they are not being completely honest. You could also be dealing with the Pisces, with this high priestess energy. Someone that is very, you know, very private as well. They are, they are hiding something, Aquarius, this person that you're dealing with here. But this person is wanting to come towards you very, very fast. There could be an, also an issue with a car. Someone could be getting a new car. Someone could be um, fixing a car. Aquarius with this uh, limo energy here is the chariot energy Aquarius there could be something hidden secrets with regards to a car as well Aquarius here so you are encouraged to use your intuition if you're ignoring certain things and use your intuition with, with with this person that is coming towards you Aquarius with this high priestess here in reverse tell me more about that limo energy for Aquarius Trust your intuition first before you trust anyone else. And then we have the Six of Swords. Aquarius, you could be wanting to move. Like, you could also be dealing with an Aquarius. There's, uh, there's um, an energy of someone that is wanting to come and just move. Like, just like fix issues. If there are any issues with you, this person is wanting to come. Just like fix whatever problems that you, you had. They want to communicate, Aquarius, and just like, let's just let it go. Let's just leave it in the past and, and move on. They just sweep everything under the carpet and just move on, Aquarius. This person is wanting to come towards you, Aquarius. Someone could also be, like I'm picking up someone that is wanting to come towards you. With this high priestess energy, this is something that you're not seeing. Someone could be hiding. You, you might not be seeing this person coming. You, you don't see them coming. Someone is making plans to come towards you. And this person has a lot of feelings. To, they have a lot of feelings for you with this king of flutes energy, which is the king of cups. It's this energy with the six of cups, someone that really misses you. This person is wanting to come towards you, Aquarius. With this two of wands, yeah. And the six of cups someone from your past is missing you and they are wanting to come towards you you might not see this this could be a secret aquarius you, you are not aware of this this could catch you by surprise like this is not someone you're expecting you, you'll be like so surprised i feel like i'm also getting this feeling of you being very surprised when they come you'll be like not expecting them like okay i was not expecting you this person is someone that you love think of that person that you love aquarius this is that person with this king of flutes energy someone from your past you could have had an ending with this person someone that you have a lot of deep feelings for and this person has a lot of deep feelings for you i'm also picking up that these feelings that they have for you could also be hidden this is something that you're not aware of someone is coming someone is wanting to come towards you aquarius and someone is wanting to fix an issue with you what is this nine of flutes for aquarius And then we have the Three of Pentacles. You see, Aquarius, this Three of Pentacles energy is showing up again here. With this Three of Pentacles energy at the top here. This is the Three of Rings here. The Three of Pentacles energy is up. It's out again, Aquarius. So there's going to be some wish fulfillment with regards to your work situation, your finances. Something is going to work out, Aquarius. If you have decided to work, I'm also picking up that for you to get this wish fulfillment. You will need to collaborate with other people, Aquarius. For you to get this wish fulfillment, to get this key that is able to open every door, you might need to collaborate with other people with this three of pentacles energy Aquarius. Someone could also be wanting to come in and fix a situation with you, collaborate with you, like work together. Let's just work together. You you have a common goal with this person. A common goal could be could be anything, even if it's not money related. Just like let's fix our relationship and work together. Let's work on it. We both have this goal of wanting to be happy together. So let's just work on it. I'm picking up that if that happens, Aquarius, this is your wish fulfillment. This is going to make you extremely happy with this uh, nine of flutes energy here. 
fantasy suits like this is nine of cups energy wish fulfillment you're going to be very happy this is the key to your success aquarius whatever collaboration this is this is going to be the key to your happiness and the key to your success aquarius tell me more about that nine of flutes you see aquarius i cannot make this up you see we have the ace of pentacles and the nine of cups which is wish fulfillment and finances like aquarius your money is going to look good um i see you like aquarius you could be advised to consider collaborating with other people you could also be like um encouraged to work where you're like people are watching you like people are watching you maybe like start an online business aquarius this is your wish fulfillment and it's coming it's, it's your biggest blessing aquarius is coming with a lot of money aquarius we're getting the same energy aquarius we're getting the same energy the nine of flutes is the nine of cups. This is the same energy that is here. And then we have this ace of pentacles and we have this three of pentacles here. And we also have this three of pentacles here, which is this three of rings here. So it might be a challenge for you to work on something alone. So you'll be needing to maybe um, delegate other tasks to other people, Aquarius. If you have a job and some tasks that you know that if you are able to delegate to other people, and you'll be able to focus on things that are really important, things that actually require your attention alone. You are going to be very successful, Aquarius. I'm, I pick, like Aquarius, I'm also picking up that you are going to get your wish fulfillment at work, Aquarius. Like, you could be expecting it. Um, you could be expecting a bonus, maybe expecting a raise as well, expecting a promotion. That wish is going to come true, Aquarius. I told you, I did tell you that the universe is going to pay back whatever was stolen from you, Aquarius. Whenever you feel like you overgave and you didn't get back, Aquarius, the universe owes you that much. It owes you that much. You must walk around with that energy of expectation. Expect things because you are such a giver. You gave so much of yourself. You gave so much of your, your finances, your energy, your love to people that didn't deserve it. And you didn't get anything in return. You just got heartbreak and disappointment and people stabbing you in the back. You understand, Aquarius? and deceit people just being very deceptive aquarius the universe owes you that much and you see this ace of pentacles energy it's like the, the coin is coming from a cloud aquarius this is your wish fulfillment something big a big coin like very beautiful energy some stability coming like from your workspace aquarius you might not be seeing this coming but there's this energy of something that is coming towards you financially aquarius you are getting your wish fulfillment financially, Aquarius. Something is going to work out for you. Whether it's you working with other people or you just working alone at work, Aquarius. This is something to do with your job. Something is going to come out very well for you. Like wish fulfillment where you have everything. And you see how this man is alone here with this nine of cups energy here. Aquarius, I'm picking up that this is going to this has something to do with you and your stability. It has nothing to do with another energy. This is your energy, Aquarius. And I'm picking up that the universe wants to bless you with these things. Like you, you deserve the blessings after all the chaos you've been through. After all the heartbreak that you've been through, Aquarius. You deserve something that you don't have to work for. Something that just comes to you. And then you'll be surprised. Like, I, do, I can't even believe it. Like, how, like what makes me, why do I deserve these things? Because it will just feel like it's, a, it's luck. It will feel like, it will feel like a blessing. It will feel like a miracle, Aquarius. Like a miracle energy expect some miracle money aquarius please expect that money if you're in that energy of expectation it also brings it's, it's it's like it also gives you a lot of faith and when you are in that faith energy aquarius that's when you manifest you become a master manifester so money gravitates towards you aquarius i'm so happy for you aquarius because this energy is being clarified by this energy of the ace of pentacles and the nine of cups forget um uh, what another person is doing and what they're thinking of you, Aquarius. Yes, we want to be in love. Yes, we do care. And yes, we do need that emotion from, you know, from another person as well. But Aquarius, this is about you. This is about you and your financial state, like, you know, your stability, Aquarius. Money is very important, Aquarius. If you're a generous person, you cannot be generous if you don't have money. And if you have kids, you're a parent, you need money to take care of your kids. So I don't like people that will be like, oh, money is not important. Because money is extremely imperative, Aquarius. And money is working well. It's, everything is going to be fine, Aquarius. You're going to have this key. You have the key to success, Aquarius, inside of you. So you just need to open that key, Aquarius. Be in that energy of expectation. And I promise you, Aquarius. And when you do, something do happens for you. I leave my email address. I want you to just email me and be like, Hi, African Mystic Goddess. Thank you for that reading. And I did get my miracle 
I, I just want to validate what you said because it's the truth, Aquarius. I cannot make this up. I shuffle these cards right in front of you here, Aquarius. So I'm an energy reader. I go where the energy takes me. That's why I cannot decide that, oh, I'm just doing a loud reading, even though I would love to do that. I know that the energy might drive me to another direction. So in this way, Aquarius, in this energy that I'm picking up here, this is something that has to do with you and only you and your finances. And some everything is going to be fine. You are. This is your year. 2024 is your year, Aquarius. Make that your affirmation, daily affirmation when you wake up. You must repeat it. 2024 is my year. I will have the love of my life. I'm going to have everything that I wanted, everything that I ever dreamed of. All my wishes are coming true in this year. Declare it, Aquarius. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. What is this two of mirrors for Aquarius? Aquarius, I am so excited for you, eh? I am so excited for you, Aquarius. Ten of Cups, Aquarius. You are not able. That's what this Two of Mirrors. This Two of Mirrors is the, is the Two of Swords. It's like you are not seeing this, Aquarius. You don't see this coming because the Two of Mirrors is the Two of Swords in the traditional tarot. Aquarius, you are not seeing this coming. There's some beautiful energy that is coming towards you, like peace is being restored. I just saw it here. Peace restored. Stalemate. Peace re restored. You could be feeling like you reached a stalemate. You don't know what to say and what to do. You're stuck. But then the universe, everything is just working itself out. Let it work itself out. Everything is working itself out for the better, Aquarius. You're going to have the money. You're going to have the relationship, the, the emotional fulfillment that you ever wanted. You will have it all, Aquarius. I promise you, you'll be feeling very content, emotional fulfillment, everything, you know, very stable. Everything will be balanced because there's no point in just having a beautiful relationship and you are in love and you are you are living in poverty. That's not the promise that God has for us. Aquarius, I'm guessing you are, you are Christian as well, Aquarius. God doesn't have that plan for us. The plan that God has for us, for us to prosper, you Aquarius, you understand? So please, my love. Everything is going to work out for you. Just sit back and receive it. Every day, do your affirmations. Tell yourself that I know that everything is working out for my good, for my highest good. Let it work itself out. I don't want to be in a stage, in a space of resistance. So I allow everything to happen as it's supposed to happen. If some other people have to leave my life so better things can come in, I allow it. I'm not forcing any interactions. I'm not forcing any situations. I am just in the state of allowing. So Aquarius, ooh, I'm so happy for you. This is some beautiful energies. One last card for Aquarius. There's something that is coming that you don't see. You won't see this coming. Some money, Aquarius. Like, ooh, wish fulfillment. We got the nine of cups and the ten of cups. We're gonna get emotional fulfillment, and we have this ace of pentacles on top of the nine of cups. Aquarius, ooh, you better start celebrating. You better start celebrating. Ooh, Aquarius. I wish I was making this up. I am so happy that I get to shuffle in front of you so you see exactly what is happening here, Aquarius. <sighs> Aquarius, this deck has a lot of cards. This deck. But these are the cards that are coming out for you today. We have this King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Aquarius. Ooh. Aquarius, you're getting everything. You're getting the love with this King of Cups. You're getting the stability with this King of Pentacles. Aquarius, you're getting the emotional fulfillment. You're getting that. You are going to get that partner that is so emotionally supportive and loving and dedicated. They're dedicated to making sure that you are happy, very dependable energy, emotionally supportive. Aquarius, with this like, King of Cups energy. And we also have this king of pentacles, like something solid and stable, Aquarius. And with this mansion energy, the mansion energy is the four of wands energy, Aquarius. I'm picking up that something major is coming for you. And if you're in the dark, Aquarius, it's necessary for you to be in the dark. Because everything beautiful is made in the dark. That's why when women are pregnant, the baby is being, is being raised inside the dark, inside the darkness of the stomach. Where it's dark, there are no lights, Aquarius. So everything can be feeling very painful. You could be feeling like, oh my God. This person that I'm dealing with is, is, is avoiding me. They're avoiding me. They don't care about me. But Aquarius, everything is going to change for the better. Aquarius, I, I don't know who is coming towards you. This could be your past person with the Six of Cups energy. But there's like someone that is coming towards you, Aquarius. And they're going to offer you everything you wanted. You're going to, you are going to end up with this person. This person is very emotionally stable. They're very financially stable. You can depend on this person. You will not be wondering why they haven't called, why they haven't texted. If it was a past person and you, you had some hiccups, Aquarius, this person has dealt with those problems that they were dealing with. And now they're coming up as these kings 
They show they showed up as the king of cups twice with this king of flutes here. This is the king of flutes, this is the king of cups. And we also have this king of mirrors. This is someone that could be very intelligent, educated. Oh, they want to give it all to you, Aquarius, for this king and queen of cups. This is like Aquarius, I am so happy for you. I am so happy for you. Before I do these readings, I never know what is coming. So everything is just coming as a surprise. I'm an energy reader, Aquarius. So I don't plan readings. Even if I decide that, okay, we are doing a love reading, some messages can pop up. Like this kind of messages where, like Aquarius, I'm being told to tell you that you are going to be very successful. You're going to have it all, Aquarius. I'm picking up wish fulfillment, like internally. And Aquarius, all these blessings that are coming towards you, a person will just be like a bonus. They are all going to come from God. Aquarius, you're going to be very financially stable and very emotionally stable and the, all those things will be coming from your own self your own intelligence and the grace that God has it has in your life Aquarius so it's blessings if you go if you also happen to get the partner Aquarius that will just be an added bonus but you will get everything that you've been wanting from another person Aquarius it will come from you and God God is going to God is pouring a lot of blessings in your life. Aquarius, I cannot make this up. We have the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles here. Very beautiful energies, Aquarius, the Ten of Cups. Ooh, I don't even know what, what to title this reading, Aquarius. This is a beautiful reading. This is the most beautiful reading I've ever done for you, Aquarius. So, and I know that you've been going through it because I've been reading your energy. You've been going through it. You've been dealing with narcissists. You've been de dealing with heartbreak. Wow. Aquarius, I am so happy for you. With this mansion energy, Aquarius, the mansion. Ooh, girl, girl or guy or whoever is watching this reading, whether you're a woman or you're a man, you will have it all. We have this mansion energy here, Aquarius. I see you having celebrating, being in this energy of celebrating. You want to have the mansion that you wanted, the apartment, the house that you wanted, the partner that you wanted, emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment. Because karma, it wants to balance the scales. That's how, what goes up comes down. So if you're feeling down, Aquarius, you're going to come up. You're coming up. You're coming up. You're coming up, Aquarius. I am so happy. I even have chills. I even have goosebumps from your reading, Aquarius. I don't know what I'm going to title this reading. This is such a, an amazing reading. This is the best reading I've done for any sign ever. So let's just find out, Aquarius, any information that you might need to know from your person, Aquarius. Any information that you might need to know from your person, Aquarius. I want to get you drunk. Someone could be wanting to get you drunk. Some naughty energy. Someone could be wanting to get you drunk, intoxicated. And then we have like, I hope you'll wait for me. Someone could be wanting you to wait. Oh, this person better hurry. They better hurry. Because that train for Aquarius is moving very fast. You better hurry. Because the train for Aquarius is moving very fast. I sometimes wonder if you care. Tell me more about this person for Aquarius. Be more selfish, Aquarius. Be more selfish. Be more selfish with your energy. Don't be too giving. You, you already gave. Now it's time for you to receive, Aquarius. Everything works out for you. After everything that you've been through, you get it all, Aquarius. And we have strength and ego. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Leo. Someone could just be in this energy of ego. Maybe that's why they're acting the way they're acting. If they're acting funny. And we also have, I am manifesting you. We did get that magician energy, Aquarius. Someone is manifesting you here, Aquarius. Someone is wanting to come back. And they are hoping you wait for them. They better hurry, better hurry, you better hurry. Aquarius, train is moving very fast. You better, better hurry. Gossip only hurts more. Some people could be gossiping about you or this connection that you have with this person. One last card for Aquarius. Okay, and we have you are wrong. So if you're thinking some negative thoughts, Aquarius, about your partner, they want you to know that you are wrong. And then we have this sword one, which is the ace of swords, which is the truth, Aquarius. I'm so happy that we also got that clarification from the ace of swords. So today's reading is an amazing reading, Aquarius. Time to ground yourself underneath here, Aquarius. You could be also be one advice to seek some stability. Ooh, I am so happy. You Aquarius, I am so happy for you. This person better hurry. Aquarius won't wait for long. You better hurry. You better hurry. Aquarius is not gonna wait for long because the train that is coming towards Aquarius is moving very fast. It's a seven star kind of train, and not a lot of people are going to be able to hop into that train. So you better hurry before Aquarius elevates. Because if they elevate, if you don't want them when they're at their lowest, you don't deserve them when they're at their best, obviously. 
So you better hurry, whoever. If you're a person watching for Aquarius, you better hurry. Go towards Aquarius because their life is about to be very beautiful without you. And then we have karmic relationship, flitting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Aquarius, if you're dealing with some karmic energies, you could be advised to leave those situations with this karmic energy. If you're dealing with somebody that is in a karmic relationship, they, they, they realize right now that it's a karmic relationship. They are wanting to break free. They've learned the lessons and they're wanting to come towards you, Aquarius. And then we have boat. Receiving what you need. You see with this boat energy of Aquarius, I am picking up that someone is leaving a karmic relationship. Someone is leaving a toxic situation and moving to karma waters. We did get that six of swords energy there as well. Um, someone is going to come soon. Arriving, moving on, closure. Someone is getting their closure, Aquarius. Leaving a situation that is very karmic, very toxic. And ooh, Aquarius, this person will be very lucky to have you. If you are my friend, I would stick by you, Aquarius. And we have the hammer sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent working on it someone could be working on something we did get the three of pentacles energy coming in twice there's this energy of someone working on something as well that could if you like aquarius don't sabotage yourself please don't sabotage yourself someone could also be sabotaging the relationship deliberately sabotaging this relationship i i'm also picking up this person who feel like they don't deserve you aquarius you could be too good for this person this person could be stuck in a karmic relationship they're wanting to get out of that karmic kind of relationship and wanting to come and rebuild something with you. Because with this hammer energy, we do get rebuilding here. This person could be wanting to come and rebuild a relationship with you. And then we have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Someone is missing you. We did get that six of cups energy, Aquarius. There's this heavy energy of someone that is really missing you and thinking about you. I really pray that every day I do this kind of readings for Aquarius. Oh, I like it for you, Aquarius. Because I know Aquarius is a very karmic sign. If you're born under the sign of Aquarius, it's like the second last sign before Pisces. So you have a lot of karmic lessons, Aquarius. You experience a lot of pain more than the average person, Aquarius. Tell me more. Tell me more about Aquarius. And then we have the sneak competition enemy clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman aquarius if they're dealing with a karmic situation there's someone that is just not a nice person around them very sneaky energy two four five let's let me get the last one i'm doing six so let's just get one last one for you aquarius and we have stabbed in the bag heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack someone could have been stabbed in the bag aquarius this snake energy could have been someone that stabbed you in the bag aquarius I'm also picking up, this could also be your person, Aquarius. They were very sneaky. Like, you know, they were dealing with other people, entertaining other energies, Aquarius. Very backstabbing energy, Aquarius. This could have also been a karmic relationship for you, to teach you lessons, just to get you ready for someone new that is coming into your life. Aquarius, take it as it resonates for you. I'm also picking up that someone could be leaving a, a karmic relationship. They Like, someone stabbed, stabbed this person. Like, this person is dealing with someone that stabbed them in the back. They can't trust whoever they are with. This person really messed your person up, Aquarius. They want them to come towards you. They must not come and mess up what God has planned for you, Aquarius. Please only allow people that deserve your energy back into your life. I will not tell you what to do, but, you know, please make the proper choice. Heal yourself so you don't become a match for people that are very that are not good for you, Aquarius. Let's, let me get some advice for you. This might be a longer reading because I, I'm very excited about this energy, Aquarius. So I'm pulling out all the cards. I'm pulling out all the cards. I need to find out more information about this energy for Aquarius. I dedicated this entire channel to Aquarius. Aquarius is my favorite sign. I'm not Aquarius myself, but I love Aquarius energy. Tell me more about Aquarius. And then we have Las Cota Moon in Vigo. Attend to the details, Aquarius. You could be advised, advised to pay attention to detail at this point, Aquarius. You could also be dealing with Vigo. Pay attention to detail, maybe with your work. Because I know, Aquarius, you tend to be the bigger picture kind of like a person because you see, you have, you're have you visionary. You see things at like a larger scale. So pay attention to detail, Aquarius. 
if you have a business, hire people that have some Vego placement so they can help you fix some things that you're not able to fix yourself. That you feel like, oh, it's so tedious and it's so boring. Let me just hire some people that don't that can pay attention to detail. Delegate some tasks to some people. And then we have first quarter morning Scorpio. Release your blocks, Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Scorpio that is wanting you to unblock them as well, Aquarius, if you block the Scorpio. And we have new moon in Cancer. There's a time coming for you to relax. It's saying you must relax, Aquarius. You're going to be relaxing a lot. And we have new moon in Leo. Shine underneath here. You're going to be relaxing a lot, Aquarius. All the stress, all the things that you were worried about are coming to an end, Aquarius. Okay, I'm going to do the Sacred Creators Oracle that I'm done with your reading, Aquarius. Ooh, I'm so excited. So excited for you, Aquarius. It's only up from here. It's only up from here. You notice I keep on saying Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. That's how I'm able to pick up on your energy because this is your reading. It, 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 that's how I'm able to like do a, a proper intuitive reading. So this is an Aquarius reading. So you, I'm contacting your spirit, your spirit team. It makes it easy for me to get information from you for your reading. So if you get irritated by me saying Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius <laughs> all the time, please bear with me, Aquarius. That's how I'm able to do my readings and make sure that I get proper information and I'm tapped into the reading knowing that it's your energy. So tell me more about Aquarius. What do they need to know? What does Aquarius need to know? What does Aquarius need to know? And we have a get back to elemental get back to elemental aquarius like go back to your element aquarius be in that state of like i'm also getting that use your you you know what you're good at aquarius you are very smart you are very intelligent you are an si you can detach from your feelings and that is your element that a element aquarius so study if you need to go back to school go back to school aquarius get some information get your degrees get that education if you already have some degrees like aquarius upgrade you can also be a doctor get a doctorate and then we have stop drop and ground you could also be advised to ground yourself i think i did pick up an energy of you having to ground yourself as well aquarius i'm picking up a very like earthy energy ground yourself you know limitation inspire innovations so if there's certain aspects like where you see like there's a limit maybe a field that you see that okay in this field something is lacking solve that problem because aquarius you're very smart you, you're very smart you are like the pioneer you can start things yourself celebrate your wins you're going to be celebrating some wins aquarius if there's a there's a, like a need where you see like okay that is like a lack i can fix that issue find out how you can fix the issue if you need to go back to school go back to school and study aquarius you have a lot of time you still have time as long as you are alive you have time let's get two more for aquarius that i'm done with your reading don't forget to like and subscribe because this is the most this is my favorite reading ever i've been doing tarot for six years now this is my favorite reading for you aquarius and then we have cut the cords of doubt Cut the cords of doubt. If you're feeling doubt, if you're feeling um, insecure as well, Aquarius, no, no confidence with the gas or situation that has to do with your work or your money, like let that go. Overrate your intuition, Aquarius. You could be needing to work on your intuition as well. And then we have you are magic. You are magic. This is a beautiful reading for you, Aquarius. Follow through. Oh, I am so, I'm done. I'm done. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This reading is over. It's like almost an hour long. Okay, I had to do it. I had to do it for Aquarius. Thank you, Aquarius. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.